Good afternoon, everybody. I want to make a little quick video. Mitch Green just touched on a subject that a lot of you people are going to be confronted with here uh, pretty soon because a lot of you are getting into the, I want to build my own Minarelli, I want to build my own Falcon, I want to build my own whatever. We are, whenever you start doing your own, you need to be very aware of one of the most critical things on these engines, and that is your squish. Uh, and Mitch Green, by the way, is very aware of the differences when you start switching heads on some of these, uh, like this one here. I've got the, the big square head. Uh, there are different ones that people are using, uh, like this one. Uh, these are pretty common. Uh, if you use these on the Falcons or the Minarellis or any of the hybrids, you need to really pay attention. Uh, just compare them to the heads that actually cut. See, this one's the, the Athena. This one's a Stage 6. They look totally different. Uh, but believe it or not, the squish bands and, every, and the combustion chambers are almost identical but just first look they look totally different but when you compare it to the chinese heads uh it's a whole different world i just posted a bunch of pictures that shows these but when you build one of these the, the minarelli you have got to give yourself plenty of squish because your actual squish when you're using the chinese heads or whether you're using the cortez heads or, or whoever's heads, if they're not cut to the, the same dome and the same squish band that the factory heads come with, then you're going to have a very small, very tiny squish contact area. Uh, and when you, when you do your squish and you look at your solder, you're going to see with these and the others a very tiny little crushed area in your solder that is all the squish band you've got uh, because the rest of the solder is still pretty good size. So keep in mind, if that's all the squish you've got and you get this thing up 10, 12,000 RPMs, there's going to be some stretch in, that, in, 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 in all these Chinese materials because the, the heat from the engine is going to make some of that metal expand. Pistons expand upwards not only do they expand outwards, but they expand upwards also. So you've got to allow a little bit of space when you're running these Chinese heads. Otherwise, uh, once it heats up, you're going to start hearing some tapping. Uh, at higher RPMs, you're probably going to tear something up. You just really need to keep all that in mind. You can't run a 0.7 or 0.8 squish on a Minarelli with running these little cheap Chinese heads because they do not conform to the top of the, the dome shape of the piston or the actual size of the piston, which I also posted pictures showing the, the relative numbers uh, on the combustion chambers and the squish band of the Chinese heads compared to the ones in the actual factory heads. So keep that in mind when you start building these. Allow yourself plenty of room for these to expand. The, the worst thing in the world that's going to happen is your piston's going to hit the head once it heats up and expands at the really high RPMs uh, under a load. And the next thing you know, you're going to be crying because now you've got a messed up piston and the top end's all screwed up. Because once it hits, uh, the, the piston hits the head, uh, something's got to give. It's usually the outside of the piston swells. Uh, then you've got galding on the cylinders. Uh, very possibly you're going to need an entire top end. So keep all that in mind when you're, when you're doing your builds. Uh, if you don't know, then ask somebody that's built them so that they can remind you to do a little bit bigger squish. Uh, otherwise, these may not be as pretty, but you know what? 
they're probably going to run a hell of a lot better. They're just not as pretty, but they're a whole lot more functional. Keep that in mind. Okay, thanks guys. Enjoy what's left of your weekend.